All righty, guys. Do we're going to be powering through and painting this bison. Okay, oh, that's cool. So, uh, the American bison is also called, or the bison is also called the American buffalo. But we've got bison and little starlings on the top, little birds. Started. And we're going to start with. Um, We're going to start with our basic shapes. Oh, sorry. We're first going to start by drawing our um, horizon line. So you're going to start by drawing a straight line across your paper. You could use a ruler. You could use, um, like, a, I'm going to use my, uh, my paint tray, anything straight. And you want it um, below the center. So I'm just gonna bring it down here as straight as we can. All right, that's pretty spot on. So next we're going to do our round shapes. He's a very round boy. Start with a big oval. And then another oval. Starting where this is, up here. We also have his head. So it's going to be a circle. Circle, smaller one below. And he's got a big tuft of hair up here, and then a big tuft of hair down here. It almost looks like a beard. So we're gonna put in those shapes. Another shape. Okay. I know this is a lot at once. Sorry, you guys. I want to get us painting as fast as possible. So you started with an oval, then another oval right here, then a circle, smaller circle, smaller circle, and then a circle on top, so it has this fur right here. Then there's gonna be a few more ovals, Right down here. Notice it kind of leans out. It's not straight down. That's where uh, his leg is going to come from. That's basically where his hip is. And then just down here, also going to draw. And that's this part. All right, so now we got a big mess of circles. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to connect them. And at the end, we're going to have a bison. All right, so first, let's connect the body. So let's just start from here. Go up, I'm going to follow it. Then we're going to come out and connect. And down, straight through, and then connect to the round. Yeah. And um, 
a lot of mammals, including like horses, cows, bison, uh, their legs go out like here and then down on the inside. I'm gonna follow that oval down, and then we're gonna parallel this. And he's in a big field, so we're not gonna worry about his hooves. Kind of just fade into the grass. And then you're gonna repeat that shape here for his um, leg behind him. So just go down. Um, gonna do another oval shape. Here, so just gonna go further and down. All right. Let's connect the tummy. So we're gonna go up, follow that line up to here. And just like this little curve shape, I'm gonna do that out and down. And then here, here's his chest. Gonna follow through where that this oval meets that oval. Again. And parallel with that. Down. So this far, we're gonna now go to the head. So I know I'm rushing through. Um, how's everybody doing? Is everyone okay? So now let's do the head. So we're gonna. Um, You're going too fast. Moving too fast, I'm sorry. So again, we're gonna do the circles, right? Gonna connect your circles going down to the next circle. Then we're gonna follow the circle and go down there. Then Go out and down. We have this other side of this oval. Then we follow it down, down. And then he has um, a leg behind him showing. So same thing, down, 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 down. Then the tummy, you're just following the shape of your oval. And the front leg, you're following the shape of that oval. And then just like how there's a little curve out here, I'm gonna curve out and down. And in the front of him, his chest. I'm gonna follow where this oval starts. Follow to this oval, go down, down. So now this part, we're going to go to the head. So here, let's start at the head before we get to the hair. So we start where this circle meets this circle. Just gonna make a straight line. And then we got a curve and a little circle. That's where his eyes are gonna be. One eye. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see better. Oh, yeah. 
That helps. Going from that circle, going to pull out. And you're going to go across here. One, eight, five, six. Follow the circle around. That's where his muzzle is, where his nose is. Okay. And then you see how this is a circle, this is a circle. You're going to cut across. Right here. And then follow your circle. And, go. and on the same, just across here, you're going to put another um, eye shape. So it could be a perfect circle. Um, if you have a a certain style. It'd be kind of interesting to see an anime bison. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a little kind of oval shape. Yeah. And for his uh, hair and his fur, you want it to look loose. So don't worry about being exactly like mine or being perfect. We're just gonna make little, little fuzzy, almost bushy shape. And that's gonna go all the way around your circle. I'm gonna go past down here. And then it's gonna be down to this circle where his uh, like beard thing is. I wonder what a shaved bison is. I wonder if this is like a piece of skin with fur on it, or is it a beard? Now, of course, we need a horn. So I'm gonna start erasing some of these lines because it's getting a little confusing. So right here, gonna make almost like a C shape and curve up and down to connect that shape. And that's your horn. And uh, bisons do have ears. They look like cow ears. Um, but I've noticed that the older they are and the thicker their woolly fur is, the less the ears show up. So I decided not to draw an ear. But if you wanted to put an ear, it's just like a little almond shape. But I don't... I don't know if the ears get covered in the fur or if it's just everything turns dark so it doesn't show up well on film. But um, yeah, the, the bison's ears don't show up when they're older. So now I'm going around. I am erasing my underdrawing. Oh, we also want to put in our muzzle. So we're going to start here. Go up, down, up, down. It's kind of like a jelly bean. Look like a happy face. It does look like a happy face. Oh, now I can't even see it. It's perfect. There we go. So here's what we have. I'm going to go around and erase my underdrawing. Because I don't want to get confused when I'm painting. Yeah. 
I'm gonna draw them a little bit. There we go. Okay. Oh, we also have a tail. So, and don't worry about the birds. We're going to draw in the birds after we paint this guy. Okay. So, let's put in a little tail. I'm going to have it go down this time. But, in my original, I had it kind of swing around. This one, I have pointing down. I drew a little teardrop shape with a hair at the end. And there we go. We have our bison. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the sky. And for our sky, we are going to I'm going to use blue. I'm going to make a big puddle of blue. We're going to do a few things. We're going to use our paper towels to blot out clouds. And we're also going to practice um, gradating from dark to light. See how it gets darker up here and then light down here? So right now I'm just putting some paint down. I'm just getting a big puddle. And if you have a little sheet of paper, you can test it to make sure it's dark enough. Okay. And when I see, oh, oh. And when I say gradating, we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna go back and forth. And then when we get to about halfway from where our sky is, we're gonna wash off our brush. So our brush is only water. And we're gonna touch the sky and we're gonna move the paint that's already on the paper down. And that's gonna give us that gradation effect. While it's wet, I'm gonna get started on the actual painting. While it's wet, you're gonna have your paper towel in your hand and you're going to blot it. And that's gonna give you those puffy white clouds. But it only works when it's wet. Seems so kind of gonna brush. Back and forth, back and forth, about halfway in the sky. Wash off my brush. So it's just water. I just got, I didn't dip my brush. Oh, no. That's a dog here. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't dip my brush into my paint. It's just, I'm just bringing the paint that's already on the paper down below. All right, and while it's wet, I'm gonna have a clean piece of paper towel. Just gonna scrunch it up like that, and you're gonna blot. 
that's going to give you a few right cloud shapes. Now we've got that going. And we have to wait for that to dry. But while we're waiting for that to dry, um, we can actually mix more blue and we can put in shadows for our bison. I noticed when I uh, was painting it that the blue was still showing up a lot and it wasn't reading as much as a shadow on this particular guy. So if you have black or brown or if you add a little bit of even um, the teeny tiny bit of red, something just to darken it a little bit. So let me try with the red. Mixing a big puddle. I accidentally get messed up on the paint, the painting. Sorry? Yeah, I forgot. I I accidentally messed up. Uh, what happened? Uh, I accidentally grabbed the wrong paint. I accidentally paint. grabbed the wrong paint. Uh, like a like acrylic paint or it wasn't even watercolor. I accidentally grabbed the wrong paint. Uh oh. Okay. Well, um, what kind of paint did you grab, Lucy? I don't. I don't even know what is it. What is, it, is it called? Can you show us? Show us your paint? Oh, these kind of paint. Okay, so that's probably acrylic. So, um, if you let it dry, you know what? If you water it down a lot, you just kind of, um, Act kind of like a watercolor ish. I've done that. Or you can try to do it with acrylic. If you do it with acrylic, um, want to put it as a. We need to have the music muted. Oh, okay. Because they'll take us off YouTube if, if we have copyright music on there. Oh, that's, that's a good point. Thank you, Fuzi. You could probably use that paint, Fuzi. Just water it down, make it real wet and, and loose, and try painting with that. Yeah. I've done that before with acrylic. If you water it down, it should work a little bit more like a watercolor. The only thing is it might not, it might not come up as easy with the blotting. But if you have, you might, you probably have a white acrylic, right? You have a white paint? Yep, I do. Okay, so once your uh, paint's dry, you can go over it with a, a white for your clouds. You can do that. 
that's the only real difference between, uh, well, there's a lot of difference. The difference between acrylic and watercolor is um, there's no white watercolor. Right. So don't worry, you can, you're still going to get a spice. Thing. Okay. So, sky's almost dry. That's great. Um, and uh, we're going to do our shadow on our bison. So we have our blue. And we're going to mix. Uh, if you have brown or black, that's great. For those who don't have brown or black, uh, you can mix a little bit. Oh, oh I'm going to work you mix a little bit of red. And a tiny bit of yellow. And just mix it around. And it's just gonna make like a darker, like a blackish blue. Mm. So see, it made like a darker blue. That way, when we put the brown over it, it's not going to still read as blue. So now we're going to do our shadows. So you're going to go underneath here. So you're going to mix enough with that dark blue. And you can use either blue, a little bit of black, blue, or a little bit of brown. Or if you don't have either black or brown, you could mix blue with a bit of red and yellow. There we go. I did that yesterday, they also. And it's okay if um, it seems like I'm going farther ahead because it takes a little bit for this to dry anyway. So you'll be able to copy um, our shadow shape in time before we go over it. Just here. And then we're just going to cover the whole ear since it's a darker color anyway. We're going to put a little bit of shadow on his face. Okay, so we have underneath his belly, on his legs, got his hair, his beard, in the center of his face, and on his tail. Um, while his legs are wet, you'll notice on here, they kind of just fade into the grass. There's not really a harsh line. So to avoid that harsh line, we can wash off our brushes so it's just water, right? And then just right underneath it, come up with water, and then it'll fade off. So again, 
just clean water. Come up and it'll break. That way when we put in our grass, we're not gonna still see that harsh line. So, all right. So at this point, while you're while this is drying, these birds, this guy should almost be dry. It's almost dry. It's good. It's good enough to draw. Um, we're gonna do these little birds. And they're pretty simple shapes. I'll draw them bigger on my test sheet so you guys can see. There we go. Okay. So our birds, they're very simple shapes. They're just circle, circle, and a little. A little too tiny. And it's only the silhouette, so we're not even going to worry about, you know, erasing or aligning or anything. And you can do different shapes. You can have some facing this way, maybe they're standing upright, maybe their tails going this way. And for their feet, if they're not touching, like if they're not sitting on there, if they're standing, just come on, you know? So, so yeah, I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see it better. Draw a little circle, circle. I'm just going to do a little line. And you can draw your own uh, bird positions if you want. You don't have to copy the exact same birds as me. Have them have a conversation with each other. Like, hey, this is a good place to hang out. Yeah, my feet are warm. He's warm. And as long as your sky is completely dry, you could use a tiny brush to paint in your birds. So the birds are black. Again, if you don't have black, you can mix um, red, blue, and yellow to make black. So I'm just gonna mix it just, just in case for those who don't have black, but um, if you have black, by all means, use it. All right, so I made green, that means Need more red. I don't know. Let's test out the black. What's a black? All right. 
please. Tiny brush. Also, if you're not confident that you feel like, oh, I don't want to mess up, I want to mess up on my tiny birds, you're more than welcome to use a marker too. I'm going to zoom in again here to see. There we go. There's a burst. Okay. So once there's that, we want to check to see how our shadows are drying. Mine are doing pretty good. And we're going to do the base color for our field. So I want to make room on my palette. So I'm just going to use my paper towel to wipe that up. <clears throat> so our field is like a bold beige color. To do that. We can um, mix an orange, like a light orange, more yellowy orange, with uh, either a little bit of brown or a little tiny, tiny bit of blue. So let me get my brush. So mixing, got my yellow. Got a little bit of red. Remember, I want to see more of like a yellow orange. I don't want a red orange. Alright, and then now I'm going to add a little tiny, tiny bit. Okay. There we go. Add the teeniest, tiniest bit of blue or brown, whatever you have. Just a teeny tiny bit. You don't want too much because it's It'll turn green. That's why if you have brown, it's probably better that you use brown because it's really easy to turn it green. Let's test that. Oh, that's good. It's a perfect color. Perfect. Okay. So now I have my nice uh, field color. Take that and fill in the bottom.
Okay. And just like how we did with the shadows, we're going to do the same thing where like we made it fade. We're going to do the same thing with our field color. So it's not a harsh line. So I'm washing off my brush. So it's just water. And we're gonna just come up here and, and see it's fading in together. Again, a clean brush, start up on this leg, down here, and it's fading together. And you don't wanna scrub it when you do it. You don't, you just want to glide right over. Because if you scrub it, you're going to get this paint wet again and it's going to mix together. There we go. No more harsh line. So once we're here, so the next step we need to do is we need to um, do the base layer for the bison, but we can't because this is drying. So I want to bring up this video. So you guys can catch up. Um, if you're waiting for something to dry, I have this, I think it's three or four minute video. I'm just gonna have my phone over the overhead and see how that works. I've seen people do that before. Let's see. It's uh, from, oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't do that because copyright, huh, Karen or Kristen? Yeah, they might take it down if we do that. Okay. How long is it? It's just three minutes, but you know what? There's, find somebody's personal. Why don't you put the, um, the link for it in the chat? And we can oh, all right. copy it down and then we can all uh, look at it while we're, you know, in between classes. That's smart. Okay, I'll do that. My animal is in the night time. Is it? Yeah. Then you could put stars instead of clouds in your sky when you're ready to. Yeah. Not, not yet, though. Like, gotta let it dry. Let me see yours, Kristen. My son-in-law came over and I had water sprinklers and stuff. Oh, nice. Look at those clouds. They actually look better on the screen than they do in person. <laughs> I was thinking, that thing looks so <laughs> they good. They do. Look good. Look good. Are you catching up, Steph? 
No, I had a doorknob and a sprinkler repair. My son-in-law came over to do it, so I've been in and out. Well, yeah, we keep uh, looking up and you're not there. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I've been glancing as I go by. The video will be up soon. <laughs> okay. uh, you know what? I'm just going to... Oh, I can leave the video after the class, actually. If that's okay. If you guys want to look at the video. I don't... Yeah. No hurry, <laughs> Cecilia. I got to go do another errand tonight. <laughs> I think Sally's got it so they go up automatically now and they're there right away and we don't have to do anything. Oh, good. She's cool. pretty clever. So my, my uh, field's actually almost dry. So I'm just gonna start mixing the base color for the bison then. So, oh, a three minute video would have been perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have that ready, more uh, prepared on the we'll be sending out the the link next time. Perfect. All right. So now we're gonna the, make sprink the sprinkler head debris. So now I'm gonna uh, mix this reddish brown that we have here. And uh, we're gonna use Um, again, if you have brown, um, yellow, mix orange, and then you're going to use, see, this is like a darker orange, right? It's like a pumpkin orange than this one. And then you're gonna, you're gonna put some blue. Brown. And we're going to put the entire thing on our bison. That should would be pretty for machine. And can we see your your swatch to see what color that looks like? Oh yeah. On a on a swatch. So here's this one. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's a nice color. Pretty close. Yeah, it was a close nice color. And again, if you have brown, you would just mix brown with a little bit of the red and yellow. Um, so mine turned a little bit greenish. So what should I do with it? To uh, make it? So add more of that. So if it's looking green, it means you need to add more red. If it's looking kind of purpley, that means you need more, um, a little bit more yellow.
So we're not gonna go over the horn. And we're not gonna go over the eyes. Or the muzzle. All right, just like we have been doing, we don't want harsh lines here. So, this is dry. I'm gonna wash off my brush so it's just water. Come up underneath. And it's fading together. No more harsh line. Again, just water, no paint. Gonna come up underneath it, touch it, and then it's gonna fade in. I got a little puddle paint there I didn't like. So if there's a big puddle that you see forming that you don't want, you can wipe out your brush. So there's as little water as possible and it's gonna act like a vacuum. So you just touch it, all gone. There we go. Alrighty. So now we're at this point. Fine. You could start um, if you have a lot of this color. If you have this color too, does does anybody still have their um, their field color? A little of it. Okay. So you want to mix your field color again, or just something similar to it. It doesn't have to be the exact same shade. It's probably better it's not the exact same shade. Um, in my case, I got a bunch of it, so I'm probably going to mix a little bit of my bison color just because it's pretty brown. So I want to be a little darker. We're going to add our, uh, our grass details. Make sure it's different enough. Oh, yes. Let's start. So, this was my original field color, and this is with a little bit of the bison color. So, it's, it's dark enough. I could add a little bit more red or brown if I want to. And it's okay if this is a little bit wet, because um, there's just we can always add more layers of this grass texture after too. Okay, so for our grass texture, they're really thin lines, so we're going to use a small brush, and we're going to fill it up. Yes, so we're going to do this flicking motion where we start at the bottom and go up and up and flip. So up, we're lifting our hand. That way we get those, um, those thinner ends, that grass texture. All right, so let's start down here. And 
And you can like, you can move your wrist. And you want it to be pretty random. You don't want them all straight lines. You could barely, you could barely touch it. They don't all have to start at the bottom. They can start in the middle. Okay to go over the bison. We're focusing more on this area. But up here to show distance, the lines would be shorter, right? Because things look smaller the farther they are away. So you can do little teeny tiny lines there too. Just like doop, 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 doop. Barely there, you can't even hardly see, but it just gives that extra. See, right there, just a little, just that extra little. Okay, that's right. a lot of noise. Yeah, the next time we see Stephanie, we're going to have to ask her to mute the puppies. Uh-oh. I thought, I thought it was muted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey. Bye, guys. Bye. I got to go. <laughs> Bye. I might make Tai Chi tomorrow. Thank you oh, do. for See doing you this, Cicely. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Okay, bye. That's exactly why I don't uh, have my class at my house because it would be that a lot louder. <laughs> and we couldn't mute Betsy you. Knows, Be yeah, Betsy knows how to mute me when I disappear like that and the dogs start. <laughs> oh. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> I swear the Amazon truck comes and it just sounds like Armageddon at my house. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's not mine, it's the neighbors. They get mine riled up and it's like, oh, forget it. <laughs> All right. So we've got this going on. We don't want to overwork it. It's good to have some layers because uh, if you overwork it, you're going to end up just with a big solid wet face, which that's not what we want. We want this nice um, grass texture. All right. So now my bison is a little wet right here. Not too bad. My face is a little drier. Okay, this one area. Probably less paint less music on here. Yeah. So I have this little teeny tiny dot here on my sky. I don't like, if you, uh, if you have an area that you accidentally painted on like that, you could kind of erase a little bit of it. So I just wet my brush, not too wet though. And I'm just gonna kind of scrub it. And that's going to reactivate the paint that's on the paper. Bring it up. Oh. So now it doesn't show up at all on the screen, but it's very good. So we're not going to have time to um, do our texture on our bison, uh, but I do want us to have a finished product. So we're going to go over our, um, our hair and our beard, tail, we're going to go over that with a darker color like black or dark brown, and we're going to fill in our eyes and our nose. 
Um, just so we have a finished product for the day. If we had more time, we'd be able to do layers and get this nice like gooey texture. Um, but this is still gonna look good. All right, so we're gonna make that dark color. I'm just gonna use this bison color that I still have. That actually is a pretty color. And I'm gonna add a little bit more blue or if you have brown or black, that works too. I'm just accommodating for those who don't have brown or black. See, it's turning into a darker brown. A little bit more blue. Always important to test. So let's take a light brown. All right, so I need more blue. There we go. There's some black. Now we're going to go over the head. And then using a tiny brush or a marker, it's up to you. You can paint in your eye. And I'm gonna leave a little tiny spot white just because I want a little highlight. I want to get light into his eyes. You could add more water. So I'm going to pick up this color move a little bit over here, and add even more water to it, take like a gray. And then once that dries, I'm going to go over it to get that dark nostril. You could also use your gray to give some shading to this horn. Going, it's drying. This grass feels pretty dry. I'm gonna go over just one more layer. I could even mix some of my black with this color just so it's just a different color. Give some variation.
So it looks like on your original that you put some hair on his legs too. I did, yes. I, um, so that would have been in the, we can still do that actually. But with this texture, with the extra like wooly texture, you would also go in with, um, So while you're also putting in like the kind of textured layers, you could also put in more fur. fur. Go down here. Oh, I see. Um, you can Bring down the floor here. Uh, just like little tiny spaces. It doesn't need to be for all the way around, but just like little areas just to show. Yeah, this is a fuzzy guy. He's covered in fur. <laughs> so since I don't. Class is basically over. We won't have time to do all of this, but if you want to add that fur outline, you still can just when you go up, do the same thing that you did here where it faded away. Just start, you know, and then with water from here and it fades away. It's just a different, um, different painting technique. See, it'll still have that furry texture, but that's an alternative. All right, so I still can't paint in my nostrils just because it's this muzzle's too wet, but I think that's as close to done as this class is gonna allow. How's everyone doing? Good, sort of. <laughs> um, did anybody want to show their work? I can figure out how to. I'll let you guys if you're ready. Here, mine's not done, but this is just, I, I think I'm going to take the time to do some more layers on it because I really like it. Where am I? But you highlighted yourself. Oh, I did? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I like your birds. Good pin. There we go. Background looks good. Good job. And you see me now? I see Calista. Oh, I I pinned you. I thought I, it. Am I getting pinned? I just said don't see it here, but. Uh, it says remove. It says pin, and then remove pin. Let's see here. Let's see. Spotlight for everyone. There I am. There you are. It's good. Man. Nice. Oh, I like it. It's fading. Yours looks like running. I want it to be in. I like it a lot. It's it's fuzzy. Oh well, that's my camera. It won't focus. So. Oh, here we go. Here's Callista's. Oh, birds! I love the birds. Got to see Calista big. Wait, Calista, come back. Here you are. Oh, those birds are so cute. <laughs> nice grass, too. So cute. Okay, we need birds. We need birds. <laughs> they're, they're, they're see through for now. Ah, 
Okay, I'm sure that'll improve. How about you, Fuzi? Did you get something done for us? Calista. 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 How about Pussy? Ah, okay. Now we're going to see one at night. Uh, okay. Ooh, look at it. So you did okay with that paint. Good for you. That looks awesome, Susie. Good job. Okay. My my little cousin Lily was actually listening in in our uh, our lesson, and she drew this really really cool character. She wanted to Let's show see. it, buddy. Come on. Did you want to show it? Or? Oh, shit. Let us see it. Come on. We want to see. Okay, come a little closer. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's fun. So she has ears. Is she an elf or an animal character? Oh, she's an animal. Yeah. She looks pretty cute in that clothing. So she's an animal character with human clothes. Cute. She's half um, deer and half human. Yeah, the, the, you have beautiful legs. That really do look like an animal's legs. Good job, Lily. That is awesome. Well done. <laughs> Welcome. Lily's interested in uh, joining one of um, Betsy's classes. Well, she's always welcome. <laughs> and you can tell her how to find us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm doing my computer today. Oh, well, Betsy doesn't have a class today, but I'll, I'll tell you her schedule later, okay? Um, so next week, uh, there will be no class. That's right, Schedule's on the right. calendar. All right. Um, everything else is fine, we're good. Uh, yeah, so next week, there's no class. The following week, we're going to be doing, I haven't decided yet, I have all my list of animals, but I don't know if I'm going to do either the eagle yet, or um, another one. But yeah, I think we might be doing a bald eagle. Feathers. Yes, feathers. You're going to learn how to do feathers. 